We came, uh, my wife is also a physician. We were classmates at the same medical school, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, that Deepak also went to two years earlier. <clears throat> a very competitive medical school. 10,000 people would sit for an entrance exam after you got a certain score in pre-med. Then they would whittle it down to 90, uh, have an interview, and then 35 were selected. And in the book I write, um, I was first in the, on the, I was, my wife was first, she's a pediatrician and brilliant, out of 10,000 people, but I was also first. I was first on the waiting list. <laughs> but, you know, think about it, that's 36th out of all of India. So we had, uh, Deepak had already been in the States for two years, and we'd heard stories, and occasionally we would call him and talk on the long distance call, the trunk call. And we decided to come to Boston first before also going to New Jersey, the same hospital where Deepak had done his internship. So we stayed with Deepak and his wife, Rita, for several days. So we had sort of less culture shock. But for me, one of the most um, interesting things that happened on day one of the internship, I had already decided I wanted to be a gastroenterologist and a specialist in liver disease. And the person giving the lecture at noontime was a world-famous professor, Dr. Eddie Palmer, world-famous gastroenterologist located in New Jersey. So he's about to give the talk on peptic ulcer disease. And there's a medical student from Rutgers, and he's sitting in the front row, and he's got his feet propped up in the air. And that would have been sacrilegious in India. And that was culture shock. The student sitting, and his shoes are facing this world-famous professor. Uh, we would say, yes, sir, no, sir, good morning, sir. Um, and, and he gives a brilliant talk. I'm mesmerized. I take notes. I ask a question. And then the medical student raises his hands. And he says, I have a question. So Dr. Eddie Palmer said, sure. And so he asked a question. And Dr. Palmer gave what I thought was a brilliant answer. And the student's got this quizzical look on his face. And he says, I don't buy that. And I said, wow, what an amazing country. You could disagree <laughs> with a professor. We would never even conceive of or think about doing something like that. So that, to me, was the first episode of uh, Culture Shock. The other was uh, we were told as interns that when you leave the hospital, you're not on call. Call the hospital operator. Call the operator and tell them tell him or her that you're leaving the hospital and that you're signed out to whoever's on call. So the second day of the internship, one of the other doctors happened also to be from India, Dr. Rao, said, Sanjeev, can I have a dime? I said, sure. So I gave him a dime. I see him go to the payphone, and he's calling the New Jersey bell operator. He says, doctor, this is Dr. Rao. I'm leaving the hospital. And then he hung up. <laughs>